मारे स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज बाजी सर फिजिट इन इंग्लिश इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन द समरी ऑफ द ब्यूटीफुल व्हाइट हाउस द समरी ऑफ द ब्यूटीफुल व्हाइट हाउस ऑलरेडी पार्ट वन इज ओवर व्हाट आर द वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू रिमाइंड यू द इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर्स इन दिस लेसन वन इज the protagonist character means main character maurad and aram these are the two children who played very very important role in this lesson 13 year old cousin of narrator narrator means the person who explains the lesson the name of the title of the lesson is the summer of the beautiful white horse which is written by william saroy so the main character is maurad another character is aram both are cousins 13 year old 9 year old they are poor and poverty stricken they don't have money to uh, to buy food for their lovely food so they belong to gara glanian family gara glanian family or tribe in Armenia Armenia is the name of the place in that place they belong to Gara Glorian tribe they were proud and honest they feel proud to be born in this tribe and they are honest they never did any wrong they never take advantage of anyone these are the traits rules regulations they follow in their tribe they are they are well known for their honesty and integrity they live with the unity and they live in a honest manner that means what they are trustworthy they are well known for their honesty they never did any wrong in their life they never stole anything from others they did not take anybody for their own advantage that means they did not cheat deceive anybody in their life so these two children belong to that family which is well known for honesty and integrity here the title of the lesson the summer of the beautiful white horse the summer of the beautiful white horse beautiful white horse played very very important role in a summer season beautiful white horse that means these two children aram and maura aram he is the narrator he is explaining the story to us maura the played an important role in this story aram is saying maura and aram both are very much fascinated to ride the horse they love riding the horse they can't control their interest eagerness enthusiasm towards the riding of horse that's why here maura the one day stole the horse of john bairu and aram and maura both started riding the horse here john bairu is the farmer he is also well known person for his honesty He is a person with a good heart, and Uncle Kosro, Uncle Kosro, Kosro is the uncle of Maura and Aram. He is well known for his fury. He is a very angry man. He had a strong head with a lot of hair, and he sported. That means he fancied mustache, big mustache. He grew in that valley where the family members are living. here narrator uncle who was considered to be a crazy man crazy man means the person who behaves in a strange manner he is a man of a short to temper and irritative nature short to tempered person and for a little thing also he gets uh, irritation such type of qualities maurad also got that's why maurad is called a direct descendant of Uncle Uncle Kusro, Kusro, because Uncle Kusro, whatever the qualities he had, Morad also had the same qualities. That's why Morad is called direct descendant of 
Asro. His father, more of the father, Jorab, Jeho Arabi. But he is well known for his uh, peaceful behavior and uh, good temper. He did not have such a type of traits of fury, anger. But Uncle Kusro is such a type of fury. He is called crazy man. Mora is a direct descendant. Now come to the story. So here Mora already one day he stole a horse of John Bairo and he started taking a ride on it. One month after, as he knew very clearly, Aram is also very much interested in riding on the horse. That's why one day he came and asked him to come down early in the morning, 4 o'clock, to have a ride on the horse. Both started riding on the horse. But when Amorad was riding on the horse, it was running across the field and the ditches, and it was very cooperative and be under the control of Amorad. But um, Aram, when he was riding the horse, it was not listening to his words and it uh, instead of uh, running across the field and the ditches, it ran over the vineyards. Vineyards are nothing but plantation of grape wines. It uh, ran across the vineyards and jumped over the vineyards to make him fall down from it. So, as he is a nine years old, that's why that he, Maura said that until he reach 13 years of age, you can't uh, drive the horse properly. But Aram tried his level best and he had with the hope that he can run as excellently as Maura drives the horse. Now come to the point. So like that every day, early morning they are taking a ride and they are keeping the horse someplace. So here one day when they were riding the horse, Aram, when Aram was on the horse, it jumped over the vineyards and nine vineyards before he fell down and it ran away. So immediately here, more than Aram ran for it and searched for it and finally they found the horse. It took half an hour to find the horse. So Maura at that time, he wanted to keep the horse as a early morning, all people are coming. That's why he wanted to keep in the deserted vineyard of Fet Vizin. He is the other farmer. So here, they are taking a riding like that. One day Maura asked, oh, here we are poor. Already they are poor and poverty stricken. Even family members, Old people in that family, they did not know how the family members are earning money for buying the food for every day. So such a type of poverty stricken people. So Maurad, when he was on the beautiful white horse, Aram, Aram did not believe that it was a horse. But finally here, he, Aram understood that Maurad stole the horse because he was not able to buy it. Because for eating food only, they did not have proper money, sufficient money, enough money. Such a type of person, how can he buy such a type of horse, a strong and a beautiful horse? That's why he came to conclusion that he stole the horse. So that day here when the uh, horse ran away, Maurad said, uh, when Aram asked Maurad, when did he, when he had stolen the horse, Maurad said that, if anybody asks you, you have to say, from today's morning only, we started taking riding. So in that way, they are taking ride on the horse. So actually Aram, they are well known for their honesty and integrity. So Aram felt that. So stealing the horse for riding is not equal to stealing something like money until they do not uh, offer it for uh, selling it is not equal to stealing. Simply he thought that in a childish manner as we stole the horse only for riding after learning horse riding we will give it back to the person actually taking the article of somebody without his permission that is called stealing 
So in a childish manner, he consoled himself. He satisfied himself by saying that stealing something for riding is not uh, stealing horse for uh, or learning riding is not equal to stealing something like money. So here John Bayro is the owner of the horse. John Bayro one day he came to the arms came to arms house. Arms mother is running a parlor. Parlor is parlor. Parlor is nothing but a place where uh, a tea milk products are available and uh, tobacco also available there. And uh, John Bayro comes to that place to buy tobacco and to take uh, a cup of tea. At the same time, Angul Kusura also came. John Bayro said to Aram's mother, So one month ago, my horse was stolen here. I can't understand why it was stolen. When it will be given to me? When uh, can I get, when will I get the horse? I can't uh, uh, expect anything coming to this place by on foot uh, for uh, long distance that means 10 kilometers i have to walk to come to here what is the use of a sari without horse sari is nothing but a light vehicle run with the four heels run by the horse horse is uh, uh, pulling the cart that is called sari so at that time here the uncle kusro said that he is a very angry angry a person with a lot of fury he says that you have legs uh, you use your legs uh, by you on foot to you come here god give a legs to us uh, it is no harm leave it uh, it is no harm don't pay any attention pay no attention to it uh, these are the common words it is no harm pay no attention to it that means leaving the house losing the house is not uh, the matter Pay no attention to it. It is no harm. These are the common dialogues of Ankul Kusro. John Bailo said that you are a person staying in a town, but I am a person staying in the village. To come to this place, I have to walk 10 kilometers. Like that, he said. At that time, Ankul Kusro got so much angry because he is a crazy man and he uh, kicked the door and ran, went away. So John Bayro felt somewhat uneasy. Then Aram, Aram's mother said that he is a such a type of natured person, angry person, but he is very good at heart, she said. And she consoled him. And like that, John Bayro expressed his unhappiness by losing his heart. So Aram, whenever he heard the words of John Bayro, he understood that Maurad stole the hearts of John Bayro. He ran. He went to Maurad and he told him, here today one farmer came to my house and he told my mother that he had lost his horse one month ago. So here, he actually, that person is the owner of the horse. So I also want to learn horse riding. Until I learn horse riding, you should not give it back to the owner. So, Maurad said that if you want to learn horse riding, it takes one year. One year, if we keep it, we will make our family members as thieves. So finally, they came to a conclusion that up to six months, they want to keep it. So like that, every day they are taking rides. One day, early morning after riding, when they are taking the horse, unexpectedly, accidentally, they came face to face John Bayro. John Bayro is the owner of the house. John Bayro came to the house and he saw the house and he sighed to tooth by tooth. And finally, he came to a conclusion that is his house. But he did not suspect the two children because he knew very clearly because he is an honest person. In a honest manner, he thought that he has these two children belong to the family, well known for a honesty and integrity. That's why he did not suspect the people. He said that if I had not known you belong, if I did not know you belong to the family, I well known for honest integrity, I would have claimed this one as mine. I would have claimed this horse is my horse. As you belong to the family of honesty and integrity, I believe that 
this horse is one of the twins one of the twin horses it is the twin horses of my in so like that he said that my horse and this horse both are twins that's why what the horse you have that is not my horse this might be twin of the second horse he said so whenever uh, john byro words they heard they felt ashamed they felt guilty so unnecessarily we are going to bring we are going to get bad name for our family they thought that and early morning they felt ashamed and early morning they wanted to leave the house <coughs> in the house of john byro john byro is a very honest person he said that he used one quotation a suspicious person believes his eyes rather than his heart so a suspicious person a person with a doubt believes his eyes whatever he sees that one only he believes he does not think eyes rather than his heart with heart he won't think as he is a good person he is well known for the honesty of he is well known for his honesty and he knows very clearly the honesty and integrity of families of morad and aram he did not suspect them and he said that it is a twin of my heart in that way they felt ashamed next morning they wanted to hand over the horse to john byro when they went to john byro here more of the common words two are there uh, one is there one word is there i have way i have way with the dogs i have way with the birds i have way with the horse i have way with the horse means i know how to control the horse i know how to handle the dogs i know how to tackle the birds that means when one day here morod was talking to a bird when the bird it hacked its wings at that time it was not able to go up or fly upwards at that time maurad here covered that means what moved a piece of cloth around its wing and it made it to fly over in that way he helped the bird and he also when they went to john byro's house to leave the house at that time so many dogs surrounded them then all aram felt very he got so much fear got so much fear and said to maurad there were so many hawks so many dogs which surrounded us immediately maurad said that i have way with the dogs in that way maurad was very excellent and ingenious person and he can tackle the birds and the animals also so in that way the two children though uh, they stole the horse with the much interest and fascination enthusiasm towards horse riding later they understood what the wrong they did and they or, uh, they immediately they came to the ordinary position that means they recovered from wrong to right what the wrong they did they understood by the words of john byro and again they wanted to bring good name to their family in that way the two children though they are 13 and 9 years old they behaved in a very excellent manner that's why they followed the ethics because they belong to the family well known for honesty and integrity so what is the moral value of the lesson is poverty can't make all the persons dishonest actually the people who are suffering with the power from poverty they are ready to do something wrong to get whatever they want but these people they never cheated anybody they never stole any article of anybody and they never take advantage of any person they did not deceive any person in their life in that way here in this lesson we can understand that poverty can't make all the persons dishonest their tribe was known for its integrity and honesty in spite of being poor for so many centuries for centuries first of all they feel they feel proud to 
be born in that family proud and honest and later only they think what is right and what is wrong first of all they feel proud of their tribe because they were born in that family in that tribe for that they feel proud in that way the two children with interest enthusiasm they stole the horse again they understood what the mistake they had done by the good words of john bayru and the good character of john bayru so here we can understand the good character can lit the light of another good character of the persons in that way good persons always bring goodness in the society so in this lesson we understood that moral values the people who follow moral values always they live happily though they are party striker they all people recognize them they were well known for their honesty that's why they people showed so much love and affection towards them my dear students here this lesson this is the second part of a lesson summer of the beautiful white horse and go through this lesson i hope that you understood well once again you go through it so main character maurad aram and maurad both are cousins they are very much interested and fascinated towards horse riding that's why though they were well known for their honesty and integrity they stole the horse because of that strong interest and fascination on horse beautiful white horse of john bayru let her they understood what the wrong they did and they hand over it here angul kusro very very important character right about angul kusro he is well known for his oh, what is that here fury fury means strong anger so much anger short tempered person and he has irritated nature and he sported a mustache and he has a powerful head of a lot of hair one day one person came to his uh, came to barber shop at that time he was uh, getting his hair cut at that time here one boy that boy is none other than his son came and said that our our house is on fire our house was burning so at that time he said that pay no attention to it it is no harm so the barber was shocked and said that it is your house your son is saying but he said that pay no attention to it. i spit her money i don't want to they don't want to give any cat to the money so such a person is uncle kusro like that you can write sir my students thank you one and all have a nice day